Stacks of leafy greens are sprouting inside this old brewery in Newark, New Jersey. What we do is we trick it. We get it thinking that if plants could think, all right, this is a good environment, it's time to grow now. Whether it's the drought out west, frost in the south, or other unfavorable conditions affecting farmers, Aero Farms is one of several companies creating new ways to grow indoors year round. We grow a plant in about 16 days, what otherwise takes 30 days in the field. A few blocks from here, the company is building what it says will be the largest indoor vertical farm in the world in an old steel mill, 12 levels of growth on three and a half acres, producing two million pounds of food a year. Production set to begin next month. We want to help alleviate food deserts, which is a real problem in the United States and around the world. So here, the areas, there are areas in Newark that are under underprivileged. There aren't enough economic development, aren't enough supermarkets. We put this farm in one of those areas. Leafy greens can be grown with less resources than carrots or tomatoes. Seeds are spread on a platform, grown, harvested, then sold at nearby grocery stores. Here we're able to grow a product using 95% less water, zero pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. But critics say the artificial lighting in vertical farms takes up a significant amount of energy that in turn creates carbon emissions, whereas sunlight is free. Say if we did decide we were going to um, grow uh, our nation, all of our nation's vegetable crop uh, in, uh, in the vertical farming systems, the amount of space required by my calculation would be tens of thousands of uh, Empire State buildings that would be required to do that. Stan Cox of the Land Institute says that instead of moving food production into cities, the country's 350 million acres of farmland need to be made more sustainable. But some growers feel agriculture must change to meet the future. We're at a major crisis here for our global food system. We have a increasing population that by the year 2050, we need to feed 9 billion people. Indoor farming taking root to meet that demand. Ted Shaffrey, Associated Press, Newark, New Jersey.